Good afternoon and welcome to A Moment in the Word here at New Beginnings House of Worship. Uh, we are so thankful that you are here with us. I ask that you would forgive us for being a little late today. I was taking a nap and almost just didn't <laughs> get up in time. Sorry about that. Uh, but we all need to take that little moment of rest. We gave a Bible study session on that just recently. Now for today, we want you to go to Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2, and we want to look at verses 3 through 6. 3 through 6. Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 through 6. And the word says, let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than him, themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Amen. And so we want to just look at uh, this for a moment and think about uh, being thoughtful, being thoughtful. And we enter into this season of Thanksgiving uh, where we uh, are all trying to consider uh, what we're thankful for, uh, being a, in service to our brother man. Uh, then let's think of things on a, in a, let's be more thoughtful in the things that we do. And so when we look at this text today, uh, this Philippians text uh, would have started a little earlier, but there's a lot more in there, and, and we really wanted to focus in on, on these verses here. Uh, he's really dealing with the attitude and the behavior of people in church. Uh, when you come to worship together uh, as brothers and sisters, how should we treat each other? And so he says, let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, that each let each esteem other better than themselves. And when we think about being uh, thoughtful and in, in, in this season of Thanksgiving, uh, we really want to, uh, number one, say uh, thank you to the Nella Charles Foundation. Uh, they've uh, a ministry that go out and feed uh, at Tent City here in Nashville, feeding the poor, um, providing clothing, whatever, and, and assistance that they need in other groups come. They have Shower Up Nashville and several other groups that come. Uh, but here, the thoughtfulness is that we're thinking of others more than ourselves. Now, the context here, again, they were dealing with issues that were in, within the church, but we want us to think about ourselves. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory. Don't go out trying to, uh, in this time of, of year, this season that we're in, don't try to um, let's back up. It's good that you go and do things, but let's not go out and do things just because it's this time of year. I want you to understand what I'm saying. Just because it's this season of Thanksgiving, don't just do it now and then stop and give no thought of it the rest of the year. There are people in need 365 days a year. And so we need to be able to uh, keep that sort of thoughtfulness in our hearts and minds. Yes, it's good that, that even in this season, when you're inspired to do something, that you go out and do what you're doing. Let's not make a mistake there. Let's understand what's being said. But what happens when um, March rolls around? April rolls around, springtime, everybody's ready to get out. You've been locked in the house, uh, not able to do as much as you could do in the winter, uh, but now you're ready to get out and enjoy uh, the beauty of springtime. And our thoughts and minds are what? On ourselves mostly, the things that we like to do. Uh, let's be thoughtful and, and consider uh, doing something for someone during those seasons that during all parts of the year. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in loneliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. When you recognize that uh, I should be thankful that I have a home. I should be thankful that I have a job. I should be thankful 
that I have family or friends that I can count on. Uh, let's think about those people that don't have them. Uh, and let's be thoughtful of those people and, and put them before ourselves. Now, that doesn't mean that you just never do anything. I know some people, um, they do everything for everybody else, but won't do those things for themselves. And so we, this passage isn't telling us that we um, forget the things that are necessary in our own lives. But let's not get all puffed up and let us not do things that, that is, um, will get us recognition uh, or make people see that we're doing something and we're only doing it in once or twice a year. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Um, so when you're going out to the new Tanger Outlet Mall in, here in, in, in the Nashville area, uh, and, and everybody wants to go and get something nice, something new, see the new facility, see all of these things. And that's good. It's wonderful to have uh, things that you can go to. And I know the people in the Antioch area are just as happy that um, some life has been poured back into their uh, section of town. But let us think about um, people that don't have shoes, people that would just love to have a clean pair of pants to put on. Uh, some underwear to change into. Let us be thoughtful of those things and let us look after the needs there that other people have. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Let us have the mind of doing for others just as we want done for us. Um, just because someone is unhoused, just because someone may sleep in a car, just because they live on a certain side of town doesn't mean that they are any less human than we are. Um, when he says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, what did Jesus do for us all? He sacrificed his life that we could have life eternal. So when we think about some things that are going on in our cities, what are we willing to sacrifice to see that things get done better? That people's lives are enriched? What are the things that we're doing? If we have this sort of mindset, if we're that sort of thoughtfulness, have that sort of thoughtfulness within ourselves, just imagine what could be done within our city, within our nation if we all had a thoughtful mindset and had a mind that was patterned after the mind of Jesus. Now, Jesus did not just allow any sort of thing to go on. Things that were wrong, he called out, showed people the right way to do things and encouraged them to do so. The decision is on each of us to do what's right. So, he did not go around uh, telling everybody's business. Now, there were some people that he really got on. <laughs> Those were the people who should have known better, mainly the Pharisees and the Sadducees, because they were the ones who uh, were telling everybody else how to live but weren't living the life that they were supposed to live. It's hard to go out and tell somebody else that they should, uh, uh, that they could be in a home, that it's no reason that anybody doesn't have a job and you don't know the things that they've gone through. And then as soon as a little bit of trouble come your way, you're pitching a fit, you're asking everybody to pray for you and, and, and all of these things, and which are good. But when you have the mindset of selfishness that someone else um, is lazy, someone else uh, deserve to live that, that way because they're not trying, they're not pulling themselves up by their own bootstraps, then something's wrong. But we have to be thoughtful as Christ was. Now, any, anyone who thinks that um, this 
mindset of Jesus Christ and seeing people who are doing wrong, uh, that we should just leave them like they are? No, uh, that, that's, that's not what it's saying to us either. Um, look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. You know of some people that are living foul lifestyles and you all, they listen to you. What are you saying to them to help them uh, and, and encourage them that they don't fall so far away um, in, uh, in this life and get fall into the trappings of this life? If you're being thoughtful of them, think back on the things that you have experienced, the things that uh, helped you to become saved and live a saved life then you should encourage those people that you have the ability to. Now, that doesn't mean that you go out in areas that uh, you can't relate to people and try to tell them how to live. Then you may be overcome as well. <laughs> and uh, we were going to deal with that sort of passage of Scripture today, but we thought this was a little bit more uh, uh in upkeeping in what we're dealing with now. So as we think about this season of Thanksgiving, are you being thoughtful enough? Are you being aware of the needs of others more than just your own needs? Uh, as you go out and shop and buy things for family, friends, and for yourself, yes, uh, think of somebody else. Think of getting at least one thing for somebody else that could really make a difference in their life. Start doing that now, and if you keep that sort of mindset, that mind of Christ in you, that was uh, let that mind be in you, that was also in Christ Jesus, you won't just do it once a year. Now, I'm not saying you have to do something every day. You may not even do it every week. But if that person was really in need and you can help somebody and you help them again, and maybe that person gets to the point that they don't need help, then you move to the next person. That's being thoughtful. That's having the mind of Christ. And so if we want to be uh, thought about, then we should think about those who have needs as well. So we encourage you, let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Think of the things that others uh, have a need of. Verse six ends with saying, uh, not only does verse 5 and 6 go together and really verse 7 as well, but verse 5 says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Verse 7, we didn't read, but let's go in and lift that up to tie it all together. But made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. So Jesus didn't give thought to where his station was. Uh, being uh, there in the presence of God, who is in the very form of God, because we think of the triune uh, head of Godhead, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so he didn't think it was robbery to, to come down onto this earth uh, or to be equal with God, number one, and even to put himself in the form of man. But he did it for the need. For the overall, he was thoughtful enough. The call went out. Who shall I send? Who will go for us? And so we need to have that sort of mindset that we will do those things that are truly needed for those that we see and that we know about. Work within your own sphere. Don't think about trying to do what everybody else does. And so I encourage you, if you're in the Nashville area, um, Give me a call and we'll let you know the next time we're out at Tent City uh, going with uh, the Danella Charles Foundation uh, and those others that shower up. I think we usually do that on third Sundays. Uh, I'm slipping in my memory because uh, there's so many little things going on in dates. But, but let us know. We'll, we'll, we'll let you know. Find, if you're in another area, find out uh, resources to help others. Just begin doing it somewhere and then become more intentional in those things. But be thoughtful. There are people in your family, people in your neighborhood that need assistance. You don't have to do the, the big thing, but find something 
Find someone, excuse me, who has a need and then do that thing for that person. God bless you and God keep you. We hope you'll be with us on tomorrow at 10 o'clock Central Standard Time at New Beginnings House of Worship as we uh, lift up and praise God and all the things that he has done for us. We're dealing in a series now entitled The Seed I Need. The Seed I Need. Part two will be coming up this Sunday. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer. Amen.